I know I'll get a lot of I told you so from people for this video, but I also know that I'll get some useful feedback. So I'm going ahead and we'll see what happens. Sorry I didn't film the actual explosion. That would have been best, I know, but I was just getting the camera when it happened. You'll just have to imagine a big bang. Can you do that? <laughs> I've been trying out my new insulated chimney. And so it was an outer pipe around the inner pipe with the gap filled between them with vermiculite. That was working fine and always going well. And I just measured the steam coming out of the exit tube at 230 degrees centigrade. I turned around to look for the camera and then there was the big bang. And this is what I found. The top of the boiler had blown upwards and is now domed. This is three millimeter thick steel. The bolts are all bent so they wouldn't unscrew anymore. I had to cut and drill them off. And I'll show you what I found inside and you can give me your forensic analysis of the incident. And at the end I'll tell you what I think happened here because there are some curious aspects to this. Oh man! No! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that one. These are the floats that operated the valve at the top. They are, or they were, empty aluminium gas cartridges for camping stoves. Mm. They seem to have imploded spectacularly. The valve I made seems to be working fine still as does the pressure relief valve rated at three bar or 43 psi. The fittings in the lid had all become loose, but the olives hadn't blown off any of the pipes, and my welded grate seems to have held together fine too. And here's the interesting thing. There was a small stick in the outlet pipe, but steam was hissing happily past it, so it was in no way a closed system, not at all. In fact, I was just trying to think about how I would connect an engine and what size pipe I would need. Right, so here's the mystery. Why did an open-ended system blow up? The steam was barely restricted at all and was free to exit as fast as it wanted to. Why did the pressure relief valve not do its job and prevent the explosion? It only had one job. <laughs> it didn't do it. Why did the explosion contort three millimeter steel plate rather than blow the pipes out of their fittings. Those olives can pop out relatively easily. So that's the mystery and I'd welcome your opinion. It's fascinating trying to work out what happened and why. Now here's my theory which Charlie and I worked out between us. The small restriction in the end of the exit pipe did increase the steam pressure in the boiler, but only by a little, nowhere near enough to trigger the safety valve, but perhaps enough to collapse one of the floats inside. Suddenly the pressure in the boiler reduced because that space occupied by the float became available for the steam to move into. That sudden reduction in the pressure allowed the hot water to boil instantly because it was rebalancing the pressures between the water and the steam. 
So first there was a rapid reduction in pressure and then an overcompensating increase in pressure caused by the new steam acting something like a rapidly expanding spring that goes temporarily beyond its supposed limits. And that sudden increase in pressure caused the second float to collapse which added to the effect. And before the pressures had time to equalize throughout the whole system, there was enough localized extra pressure to pop up the top of the boiler in an explosion. Hmm. Even a few moments later and the steam would have found its way out of the end of the tube or the pressure relief valve would have opened, but there was just not enough time for that to happen. Or perhaps the relief valve did open, but again, not fast enough to relieve such a quick increase in pressure. Does that make sense? <laughs> anyway, that's what I think happened. What do you think? It is interesting, isn't it? And it would be helpful to fully understand what happened because I'd quite like to avoid a repeat. So if you can help, then let's be having you. The awesome power of steam, even at low pressure. Yes, of course, it was potentially dangerous, but in fact, I was nowhere near it when it happened. I'm not going to rush into the next build. Plenty of other things happening here anyway. I'll skew on this project for a little while, but it certainly inspired me to carry on.